How I lose one pump, I don't know. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title, finally, finally, finally. My closet reveal, closet tour, whatever you want to call it. It's finally here. I finally got all my stuff in here. Well, not all my stuff, but the stuff that belongs in here, in here. I'ma show y'all, okay? There's still some things missing, but it is what it is. If you didn't know, I recently converted my uh, my guest bedroom. I never really used it like that, but my guest bedroom into a closet. This is what this room looked like before. It was a junk room, girl. I used to wrap my Peloton up in here. It, it was just... Mm -hmm. it was just a room okay and it just had a bunch of stuff in it so i finally decided you know what let me put some money in this room and invest into it uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna stop rambling and give a quick little montage because i know y'all want to see it and then we'll walk through each piece and you know how it came to be what it is Can I show my love for you? Now that you guys have seen it like i said it this room has come a long way so for me i needed this closet i have a walk-in closet in my master bedroom as well that i keep my all of like my undergarments my lounge wear my day-to-day -day clothing this room is specifically my accessories my shoes my bags and like my pieces you know like when i'm getting dressed dressed this is what this closet is for. Uh, I hired Artisan Closets to do this closet for me. They were very quick, very efficient, very expensive. But overall, I am 100% happy with the job done. Um, once we finalized it, I think it took maybe like three weeks to get me on the schedule and they did this in a day. They literally built the entire closet in one day. Super quick, super easy. They brought a whole crew. They did everything. I didn't have to touch a thing, lift a finger. I didn't have to clean nothing. They did the whole shebang. So let's kind of walk around and talk about it. Uh, as soon as you come in through the door, which is here, uh, you're met with this first, um, I don't know what you would call this, first piece. Um, so here, I just have, this is where one of my hanging spaces is. I don't have very much hanging space in this closet as I'm sure you guys probably already noticed. Um, and that was because I really don't have that many clothes. I really have more shoes and bags than anything. I cycle out my clothing pretty frequently so I don't really have a lot of clothing. I mean, I have enough, but you know. So through here, I just have like dresses, shawls, a few coats, uh, blazers longer pieces jumpsuits that kind of a thing and then i put all of my like green shoes here because they didn't fit in the color wall which a lot of this stuff is going to get moved around this is just kind of what i've got it as for now um and then up above that i don't know if you guys can see but these are just like my vacation bags like all of my like wicker bags and things that i would typically wear on vacation so, and I know a couple of questions I'm going to get about this wall in general. Um, I, we couldn't put anything here because this leads into a bathroom and I didn't want to alter my home that severely to where this bathroom was not accessible from this room in case I sell. It's a selling point. Um, so we definitely weren't getting rid of my bathroom. And then obviously I couldn't put anything further this way due to the door clearance. So this is all that we could fit on this wall. So that's kind of why it's a little, not out of place, but kind of out of place. Um, but I wanted to utilize as much of the space as I possibly could. So that's kind of what we got going on over here. So first segment that we have over here, uh, I have some art on the wall right here because again, 
I couldn't do anything in the corner um, on this space um, due to the vent. That was what was this, that was what was prohibiting this. There's a vent right up here that because of the height and everything in the ceilings and my cabinets and stuff, they couldn't do anything here. So I just put a few pieces of artwork that I got on Etsy right here on the wall. They're like super cute. So this first segment is the white area. So I kind of color coordinated everything. So I have like white bags, white shoes, cream, silver. That's kind of all here. I've got some thrown sunglasses thrown in the mix. I mean, it's pretty simple. And then I have all my boots along the bottom. I tried to make this cute for y'all, but they kept falling. I said, look, it is what it is. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do this. So we make our way over here. We have black, so black, 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 black. And then a little bit of brown. Then we come into nudes and creams. Yeah, like I said, I just kind of color coordinated everything. And I just kind of have it all in the mix. There's really not an organizational strategy here. I just needed my stuff in the closet to where I could see it visually. Um, obviously I have the most like black shoes and things like that. So they took up majority of all of this down here. When I was putting my stuff up here in into the closet y'all, I don't know where my other Jimmy Choo pump is, but my other black Jimmy Choo pump is missing. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. And I moved my entire closet up here. So how I lose one pump, I don't know. So um, yeah, all my sunglasses are kind of just like thrown in the mix amongst everything. I didn't want to have just like a sunglass spot. I really wanted this wall to look like a random department store. Like if you walked in and even markets and they were like, this bag and this bag and this and this and this and that. You know what I mean? That's kind of like the vibe that I wanted in here. So yeah, that's this. Up at the top are all of my tote bags. I don't know if you guys can see them right now um, behind the glass doors. Uh, those are all of my totes moving along. It's, a very, it's not really much. And I'm not walking through all my pieces, so. All right, so once we're over here, same thing here, like I put these bags on the hangers, like on back hangers, just because, number one, this one's beaded and it's very, very, very fragile. So I wanted to hang that one just due to its shape and stuff. Um, so yeah, and then all of the shelving I can rearrange. So say like, I don't want this many. I can take it out and move it around or add more if I get more shoes and need to adjust. Um, so then here is just more brown. My vacay sandals are kind of in this area, nudes. Um, boots that are not black are right down here. And then this is probably my favorite part of the closet, which is probably really funny to y'all. My color stripe, because as much as like I'm a neutral nude girl, I love black, I love, you know, basic colors, I, have so many like pink like yellow blue a lot of blue too which is so weird because i don't even wear blue like that but i have so many blue pieces so i just kind of color coordinated this by the rainbow so it's red pink orange yellow orange yellow blue and then the green is all over there i don't have anything purple so that's actually really interesting i don't have anything purple yeah that's that's this stack you guys kind of got some better b-roll footage to see that up close so yeah, and then I love like the lights and everything. I think I showed you guys. Um, it's remote control operated. So um, I can just turn it all off. And then this is kind of what it looks like right now. Uh, the sun's going down, so it's a little dark. Um, and then if I turn it back on, nice and bright. If I only wanna turn certain lights on, I can do that too. Like uh, they're numbered around the wall, so. I can do it that way. I just turn them all on. I don't really see the need to turn one or two or whatever. So I love this uh, to turn them on and off. Really, really nice, makes my life easy. I wanted to opt for a switch instead of a remote in the wall. However, um, due to where my plugs and just everything was set up in this room, they couldn't do it uh, without me having to call in my own electrician. And I just wasn't trying to do all that. So I just opted for the remote. It's fine, it's not a big deal, as long as I don't lose the remote. All right, so then this last area that we have is the last little bit of hanging space in the main closet area. Um, so I know you're like, what? There's more, and I'll show it to you in just a second, but that's visible, this is all the hanging space. So out here, I, for the aesthetics, I kept just white and black in like a couple like nudey, beigey pieces. So up here I have tops, down here I have bottoms. Um, and as far as the hangers go, 
these hangers are from Target they're just black wooden hangers I absolutely love them if you have a space that you can fit them in because they do take up a lot more space versus like velvet or wire hangers um, but if you are in a space where you have the room love 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 these um, so yeah that's all that's here and again this is uh, lit as well and I left these pretty spacious like I could fit a lot more clothes on these racks if I wanted to but I really liked having the space it really makes the space look elevated in my opinion um, like a store alrighty so on this same wall I'm trying to cover I have a window here um, and so obviously I wasn't gonna cover up my window so we couldn't put anything here um, so I just have some great natural light that comes in every now and then and then a shelving unit here underneath I just have some sandals not gonna show it to y'all it's not that cute and then just right here in the center I have two um, perfumes that just looked nice here with a diffuser from Diptyque to make the room smell really nice because I didn't want to put like I didn't want to put a candle in my closet I felt like that was kind of silly so and then over here I have a hamper this hamper is from West Elm no Crate and Barrel uh, it's from Crate and Barrel it's just really cute it's like a little rat and goes with the vibe and then these paintings I I made those myself they're crap so just don't even pay those any attention last corner of the room so like I was saying this was a bedroom prior to it being my closet right so this is the actual closet that was in here which is actually pretty spacious it's considered a reach-in closet but it's very large um, like it's fairly large so I have four more um, hanging racks in here I'm not gonna show it to y'all because it literally just looks like a regular regular closet so this is where I keep all of my colored clothing that doesn't fit the vibe out here and then just other pieces that just simply didn't fit out in the open um, so yeah and there's tons of space in here because like I said I, I don't really have that many clothes um, but this is the final wall so this is the very last wall it has my huge arched mirror um, I really wanted a black one but it was out of stock so I got this one and I told myself I was gonna paint it black Girl, I'm so sick of them DIYs. Y'all know, I be, I be saying I'm gonna do it, I'm saying I'm gonna do it, and then I never do it. So, um, yeah, that's this wall. Then I just put a vase, a black vase here with some pompous that was in my bedroom. Um, I don't know if that will stay or not, but just so it's cute for now, I'll move out of the way so you guys can see. And yeah. Alrighty, everybody, so that is it for my closet reveal, closet tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too underwhelming. I absolutely love it. Like, look at this reflect. Like, are you kidding? Mirror pictures gonna go crazy, all right? So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.